Hello. Welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today, I'll show you animating a 2D character with the puppet pin tool. Here I got a fish drawing with a clear background, an environment image, and video footage of bubbles. First, drop the environment image to create a composition. Then, drop the fish drawing to create another composition. Open the fish composition setting, expand its dimensions so the fish have more space to perform. Create a null object, and we will use it as the animation controllers. Rename the null object. Duplicate the null object by hit command key and D key. Place the first null object on the head, the second one on the body and the third one near the tail. Select the fish image layer, activate the puppet pin tool, and draw pins on the fish image at where the top left corner of the null object is. Find the puppet pins under the image layer. Then hold shift key and click on the keyframe icon. This will active the scripting of that pin. Copy the script I provided under my video, paste it at the scripting box. Change the layer name in the script, and this puppet pin will follow that layer. Keep in mind that the name should be exactly the same, even the upper and lower cases and spaces. The function of this script is, let the pin to search a layer based on the name you provided. Once the layer was found, let the pin's position equals the target layer's anchor point position. This will let the pin to follow the null object. Once applied, you'll be able to control the character with the null objects. However, the tail does not follow when you move the body. To fix that, add parent animation by parenting the tail to the body and parent the body to the head. Then, apply two keyframes on the body controller on its rotation channel. One set rotates 16 degrees, and another one set rotate minus 16 degrees. These two keyframes will create an animation cycle, and we will duplicate this cycle to create a longer animation. Duplicate the first keyframe to make the third keyframe. Go to the graphic editor and select all keyframes. Apply Easy Ease to smooth the animation. The Easy Ease will add the speed up and slow down transitions between keyframes. Now, duplicate the keyframes a few times to extend the animation. If you would like to create a more natural animation, simply create more controllers and make more complex deformations to the character. In this project, I created more than 30 controllers to each fish, and there's still room to add more to create smoother animation. Okay, back to the demonstration. After you created the first 8 second swim animation, rename it to fish 01, and drop it into another composition fish 02. In the fish 02 composition, you can add position keyframes to the fish 01 composition, and create the up and down animation to apply gravity to the character. When you are done, select all keyframes and go to the graphic editor, apply Easy Ease to smooth the animation. Then drop the Fish 02 composition into the Environment composition. Scale the fish down and create position keyframes to let the fish swim forward. Select all keyframes and go to the graphic editor, apply Easy Ease to smooth the animation. Drop in the bubbles video footage, change its blending mode to screen. That's how to create a realistic fish animation. Hope you like it. Subscribe and learn more.